This segment has my attention. We want to tell you about an interesting new exhibit opening this week. Dinosaurs will be brought to life at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. And that's where we find our Wakisha Bailey this morning for a trip back in time. And I want to warn you, Wakisha, Jim has a whole lot of questions. A lot of questions. Hopefully you can answer some of them. <laughs> Well, I hope so too, because you guys, after just hanging out in this exhibit this morning, um, I have a lot of questions too, but to answer those questions is Amber Gutsy. Thank you so much for waking up. Thank you. I Appreciate know you've been it. really busy, but yeah. Amber, we got to get right to it because this exhibit looks amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. We have a new exhibit here at the Academy called Ice Dinosaurs. And when you think of dinosaurs, ice and dinosaurs together what are we talking about well this is an exhibit all about an area in alaska called the prince creek formation and the dinosaurs and other species of animals that used to live there almost around 70 million years ago wow now, when it comes to that, we need to understand a little bit more about their environment because these animals went through different changes in the season. Wait a minute, Amber. Does this dinosaur have feathers? I mean, I'm not used to seeing dinosaurs with feathers. Right? Yes, this animal does have feathers. We've got a Trudon here, which is a type of dromaeosaur, similar to those velociraptors you see in those big blockbuster movies. And with that, a lot of people grew up, myself included, that dinosaurs didn't really have feathers. But we're starting to find fossilized evidence that showcase that many species of dinosaurs didn't only just have coatings like feathers, but they were warm blue blooded as well, and they could survive polar Arctic regions even in four months of total darkness. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, they look more like birds than lizards. Is that crazy to say? No, not at all, because actually every single bird on this planet is a dinosaur. Truly, in the end, every single bird that we say today, even those pigeons right outside in Philly right now, <laughs> they are technically dinosaurs. That is where we can look back at these ancestors to see that connection between the two. What is it about dinosaurs? that people are just so fascinated with. You know, it's one of those things that I think it's the sheer size of some of these species. They lived so long ago and they're not animals we really see anymore on this planet, except for things like an emu, a cassowary, or other types of birds, but they don't really, uh go into the sizes that we used to see, yeah. you know, three feet long, oh, maybe 30 feet long even, or seven stories tall. That's what I think is pretty incredible about these animals. So we're looking at this one dinosaur right yes. ahead right now. Can you tell us anything really cool about that? Because that doesn't even look like a dinosaur. I'm still amazed no, by that. right? Now, this is a really cool Tyrannosaur relative. It is not a T-Rex, but it is in the Tyrannosaurid family. And we've got this animal that actually was named by the crew that found it in Alaska. Now, Nucasaurus, this is an animal that had a beautiful, what we think, coating of these wonderful feathers. Looks like a polar bear. Uh, and what's awesome about it is that this animal lived around in the polar Arctic Circle all year long, having those nice feathers to coat it when it got really cold and hunt for smaller species of dinosaurs. Well, Amber, thank you for uh, the science lesson today. That was absolutely course. amazing. <laughs> And this is exactly what you're going to get when you come out here. But just to let you guys know, this exhibit opens to the public beginning on Saturday, and it will be up all the way up until May 4th. Now, you can also do a sneak peek at Dinosaur After Dark with a couple of beverages, and you can come in on Friday just for that. So super cool. So, Jim, if you want to take me out on a date, okay. I'm available. <laughs> Feathers and cocktails with dinosaurs. I learned something new today. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it.